Guangxi province in southern China. Until recently, poor farmers here burned wood for cooking and heating. Now they're leading a sustainable energy revolution. Thanks to some help from a government project supported by IFAD, a UN agency working to adapt technology to the needs of poor rural people, farmers like Shi Ui Shun are now capturing methane from animal droppings in human waste and using it to produce their own fuel. It all flows into a biogas digester, a large tank buried underground. The waste comes in here and as it ferments inside, the gas builds up and travels back out through this tube. It takes the gas into the house where we use it to cook. In capturing and using methane for cooking and lighting, she not only has an abundant supply of inexpensive fuel, but he's reducing its global warming effect. At the same time, as waste decomposes inside Xi's new biogas digester, he's left with another fuel, an organic fertilizer high in nitrogen. Since applying the fertilizer to my cucumber plants, they've grown much bigger than before when I use chemicals. They even taste better. Although biogas technology has been available in China for decades, a growing income gap between city dwellers and farmers has fueled its recent revival. In the last two decades, 200 million rural people have moved to China's cities. One of the ways the central government is trying to make life in the rural areas more appealing is by offering farmers cash incentives to build biogas digesters so that they can produce their own fuel cheaply. Since Liu Tunxian's family began producing biogas on their farm, she no longer spends three hours a day collecting wood for cooking. Instead, she's taken training that's helped her make improvements to the family's tea farm, which now earns more money. Thousands of poor farmers across the province have done the same, contributing to a drop in rural poverty, according to IFAD. Thomas Rath is IFAD's program manager in China. This project started in 2001 and three years later we could see that overall the households have moved up from, from poverty to low income and even out of poverty. We, after three years we observed already that about 10% had already moved on. So about 20,000 households. Thanks to government financial incentives and educational tours like this one, supported by IFAD, there are now three million biogas tanks in operation across Guangxi, making the province the largest producer of biogas in China, if not the world. As each one roots animal and human waste into biogas digesters, they not only prevent vast amounts of methane from escaping into the atmosphere, but an estimated 8 million tons of standard coal and 13 million tons of firewood from being burned each year making Guangxi one of the greenest provinces in China. This report was prepared by James Heer for the United Nations.